Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Yes, I'm swatting black flies away from my face. So today we're at ATV camping as you can see. We are located next to a irrigation pond slash swamp. So. Hence the black flies. Hence the black flies, that's right. <laughs> so it's forecasted to be at the high as 12 degrees Celsius today and it's, I think it's there. It's nice out. Very nice out. And it's going to dip down to negative 2 degrees Celsius tonight. So, we're going to be in for a cool night. Black flies. So, all of our sleeping gear and tent and everything is in this backpack. All of our food, extra clothes, um, coffee stuff, everything snacks. else, snacks, is in the backpack just behind me. So... What do you think we get the tent set up right over there? I think that'd be the best location for it. I think so. All right. So we're going to get the tent set up and we'll bring you guys right back. Inside the back.
goodness. Food. Holy crap. I'm close. Well, all right. Food and clothes. Yep. And coffee stuff. Chocolate? Soft. <laughs> Just a day. All right, I think that's everything set up. Okay, I see. All right, guys, we got the tent set up. It was a little bit of a challenge where it was a brand new tent. Everything was just sticking together. You peel it apart, it sounded like it was ripping it, but. Anyways, that was the rain fly, but uh, everything else went smooth as butter. Um, so, explaining our sleep setup a little bit. We have my Gear Doctor sleep pad, which is the Apollo Air. Uh, I've mentioned it in previous videos before, it was an error value of 4.5. It was my mistake. It's a R value of 5.2. So that's a big step from where I mentioned it to where it actually is. But that's my mistake and I do apologize. So, um, for her sleep pad, she's using the Unigear Camphy P3, which has an R value of 2. She likes it because she doesn't fall off it. <laughs> so, <clears throat> the Unigear sleep pad being a little bit wider, it suits her better which is fine don't don't matter to me I like the Apollo Air just because it's the slim design the mummy mummy style design well slim whichever uh, and whatnot but it is good for solo expeditions so is the Unigear tent but more so for very about now until early fall ish so uh, on to our sleeping gear itself besides the sleep pads it's uh i have my uh kelty tundra 15 sleeping bag i have that unzipped all the way filleted open i got two sleep pads laid side by side i got that my kelty bag on top of those two for basically like a bottom sheet for our top layer we have two wool blankets military grade so we're going to attempt to sleep like that tonight. It's supposed to go down to minus 2 degrees Celsius tonight, as I stated earlier, with a real feel of negative 5. So hopefully it won't feel that cold inside. Because right now inside the tent, it's, it's hot. It's probably like at least 20 degrees in there. It's hot in here. <laughs> and the door is open. <laughs> yeah. Um... Yeah, so this tent, it is the Campel uh, MT-066, I do believe. Uh, I'll put the link to this tent uh, in the description for of the, uh, the their Amazon link and the Campel web store. I'll put those two links in the description, as well as any other gear that I use. I'll be putting those in the description as well. Um, so... We don't really need much for firewood right now because we got a pile of it right to the left of us here and in the woods behind the camera and the woods in front of the camera there's all kinds of it but if you listen carefully peepers and more black flies so but we're just going to lounge around here for a little bit uh we have to make a fire ring or sorry make a fire pit area which is going to be pretty much right where the camera is sitting. So, what do you think? We just kind of land around for a few minutes, try to figure stuff out. and Sounds good to me. Yeah. So we got an awesome little supper plan for tonight. So, I say we're just going to land around for a few minutes and, and we'll pick you guys back up when we're done.
Okay. Oh well. All right, guys, we got the fire pit made. Uh, we brought our grate from home, strictly for camping, or ATV camping, or whatever. Uh, I don't know where the heck we got this, but it doesn't matter, neither here nor there. But we made a spot fit perfectly right there to cook our supper on. So we have, was it, two steaks and a couple salads tonight for supper. So I figure no spices or nothing like that, have a nice smoky flavor to the steak, and it should taste just fine. Mm -hmm. So it was made, you know, like the uh, fire pit area here, it's a little long. So a lot less cutting firewood and luckily there's a fire pit or a fire pit yeah there is a bunch of dried up wood right off to the left side of the camera over here it's got it's a mixer of like hardwood softwood all that fun stuff so um, they say there is going to be a lot less cutting because it is a little bit of a medium sized fire sorry medium sized fire pit I should say so what we'll do is just basically break coals all over here and around this area right here and sit this down on top like so and away we go black flies are still being a pain in the butt so but yeah so I think what we're going to do now is just basically just slowly start gathering some firewood cutting it up splitting it or whatever we're, whatever we're going to do <clears throat> so that way we're ahead of the time it's only pushing about 3 o'clock right now, so the more we get done now, the less we have to do later on. So that way we can just kind of sit back, relax, enjoy our supper and everything like that for, for later. So, but the peepers are still peeping. Wow. <laughs> so. Heard a couple owls. Yeah. Heard a couple hooters. So that's pretty cool. We'll hear them later on this evening anyways. But I think, like I said, we're going to start gather, slowly gathering up some firewood. And then uh, that's less for us to do later on.
right, get the wood cut up. You just got enough here for for a couple hours, like for just cook supper and stuff like that. So we're gonna well, gonna attempt to split it. I should be able to do something with this big honking thing. So, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do this. Oh boy. It's her turn to split wood. So, for starters, I'm gonna give her an easy piece to split so that she can do it. That's so kind of you. <laughs> uh, yeah, this piece will work. So, I'm gonna have a piece to split. Actually, this is gonna be your piece to sit your That's gotta be my base layer. No, not your base layer, that's clothes. Oh. <laughs> It's going to be your base. So, I'm going to find our good batoni sticks so you can whack me over the head with it. I'll save that piece for later. Yeah. <laughs> Let's find our good piece. Thanks. Alright. Find you a good piece to try here. It's probably gonna split my face. Give her this piece, I guess. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna take your that down. Actually, you do this because I'm gonna go from that. Put the knife on it like so. Like that. Hold it like that. Take this. Hit this. I'd advise you to move. I'm going to. <laughs> I'll move it out of the way. Make sure your knife's straight. Yes. Okay, keep pressure on that one. At the end. Oh yeah, no. <laughs> Ow! I did not hit you. No, the knife did. Oh. Okay, keep going with it, you started it. <laughs> All right, she did pretty good. Did pretty good with the first try. Not bad. And now, if she only she had, if she would have had a better teacher. You're not allowed to burn this piece. No, I know, not yet. No, that the side. That's how you split a piece of wood. I don't think she just had the oomph in her arms. I don't got the oomph in my arms. Yeah, at least you made the attempt, unlike some people. True. I'm always willing to try something once. Go figure, a knot. It's all right. I'm gonna finish putting this wood up and I'll catch up with you guys afterwards.
Alright guys, get the fire going. Uh, had a little bit of trouble there with the fire still for, for a couple of seconds. Didn't have something wasn't right, so I had to redo it all over again. And I got it the second time around. I needed some more uh, <coughs> excuse me. I need some more scraping, so I went and got uh, I did a few more of those and fire took right off, so uh gonna get it ripping here and then I don't know get a nice bed of coals down so we can start cooking our supper so that's gonna taste really really good steak cooked over the fire a couple of salads a macaroni salad and a potato salad so that's gonna turn out really good um, other than that so let this fire burn down a little bit and uh, then we'll have at it.
All right, guys, steaks are done. Oh, they're looking mighty, mighty tasty. Mmm. Bonus. Nice and tender. Smoky flavor. Got a nice little pink line right down through almost center. So, mmm. Sorry, guys. Wow, these are good. Okay, um, this is mine. Yours is already on the bottom plate. Yep. Um, all right, that was mine. This one's yours. I'm gonna blow it off All right, we're gonna get some supper here and uh, bring you guys back shortly. <laughs> Alright guys, we got steak a la Mike over a la fire. And we got salad a la Holly out of oh. a container. Oh, it's Thor. <laughs> so, we got macaroni salad, potato salad, and some nice over the fire cooked steak. Mm. Can't beat that. Well, I don't know. Oh, the fire pork chops is pretty good too, but they aren't too bad. See, I'm a good cooker when I want to be here. <laughs> All right, guys, we're gonna sit here. We're gonna have some supper, watch the mm. fire start to take off again. Enjoy our hot, cold meal. This is good. I think maybe after we might have a coffee. I don't know. No, nope, no yet. Yeah, we we'll just have some water. Listen to those peepers. Oh my. They've been going since we got here. So. What? She's a little full. I think it is almost coffee time now. Just about. Well, we haven't had one all day. Uh, since this morning, since we left. Yep. Yeah. We've done this good. This cover's being a pain in the butt. There we go. Childproof cover. Take it off and you can't put it back on. All right, guys. Catch y'all after we're done. Mmm. That's good. Mm hmm. Good supper? It is good supper. Bonus points. <laughs> Nothing like having a multiple meat, eh? <laughs> hey guys, supper's done. We had our coffee. Oh man, that coffee was just, just hit the spot right after supper. I mean, it hit the spot. So, uh, I think I'm just going to get ready and turn on some lights here. It is getting dark rather quickly. Well, kind of quickly, kind of not. But, uh, turn on some lights here regardless. As soon as I find my battery bank. There it is. So this thing turned on. <coughs> Hang it somewhere. I'll figure it out. So. Oh, 
Excuse me. I said supper was just wow. Don't want to toot my own horn or nothing, but awooga. But nope, it was really good. <coughs> the steaks were cooked almost perfectly. Um, the salads were great. The light bulb bright. So, ready for some night life here. It's almost photo time. We didn't get the sunset we were hoping for, but meh, can't win them all, right? Can't have them in every video. Can't have them, but. Beggars can't be choosers when it comes to something like that, so you had a nice one, you kind of want to get it. So I think Miss Holly and I are going to sit by the fire, enjoy some of that campfire heat, um, maybe make up another coffee, I don't know, I'm not 100% sure, I haven't decided yet, um, and then I think after that, what we might do is hunker down here in the tent, have a couple snacks, and probably watch a movie or something. I'm not sure. Might just lay here and listen to the peepers all night. So loud enough. But, nope. I think that's what we're going to do. Sip on that fire for a little bit. We'll catch up with you guys after that. <laughs> Never touch fire. It's hot. You don't say. I'm glad you told me that. Been here about a fire for, what, for about an hour. Yeah, something like that. And it's starting to get chilly. I mean, it's starting to get chill on out here. Um, they said in the beginning of the video, it's supposed to get down to minus two degrees Celsius tonight. Feels like minus five. Uh, I hope we're not gonna freeze, but we're not gonna. Nah. So, but uh, I don't know. That heat something else, though, I tell ya. Goes the smoke. Yeah. Yep, good old campfire smoke in the face, eh? I'll get back here a little bit, I think. There we go. Whew. Don't sit too close to the fire. You might melt your shoes. Don't ask me how I know. Or boots. Or boots. <laughs> <laughs> so I was sitting by the fire, I melted my shoes and I melted my coat. <laughs> sitting by the fire, didn't go so well, I got really mad. Oh, this is a year or so ago, but yeah. What kind of new song? So. Work a little bit harder. <laughs> Yeah, I got I to gotta come up with uh, some new lyrics. <laughs> so anyways, we're going to sit here by the fire for a little while longer. And uh, enjoy the heat while we can. And the rest of the evening. And the rest of the evening. So, uh, we'll, go, we'll bring you guys back before we, uh, we head inside for the night. Alright guys. We were sitting by the fire for the last three, four hours. 
peepers are just deafening. Uh, I don't know. We've had a pretty, pretty eventful day. Pretty relaxing. Yeah, a little bit of this, a little bit of that. A little bit of setup. You know, we had a bit of Mardi Gras in my life. <laughs> just thought I'd throw that in there. But, uh, anyways, the fire's just about burned out. I'm not putting no more wood on it. Uh, she's reading her Kindle. Again. Again. Uh, snacking on some chippies, I think. Yep. Don't mind if I do, seeing how I bought them. I'll have one. There. Now she can't say she ate the whole bag. <laughs> so. Oh. That hurt. But anyways. Supper was good. Mm -hmm. um, steaks were cooked nicely. Almost too good if you ask me. Mine was perfect. Almost like I've done it once or twice. I still say it tastes better than the pork chops and beans. <laughs> it's possible. But uh, we're going to tidy up a little bit. Not much left to tidy up. We've already tidied up quite quite a bit. But uh, anything that's, you know, like whatever just laying around or anything like that. Put that back in the backpacks. Whatever we're not going to use in the morning, we'll throw that throw that back in the in the bags and everything. Get everything situated. I think we're going to mosey on inside here and probably watch a movie. I think. Yeah. I think. I got a couple on my phone. I don't know what I got. I got like eight or nine. We got I'll a few. To, we got a few to pick from. So. Anyways, I'm going to eat my lone chip. I might, have, I might grab a couple more. Just don't tell Holly about it. <laughs> so I'll never know. No, she won't. <laughs> but, anyways, guys. We had a great time. Yep. See you all in the morning for coffee. Night. Night. Morning. Morning. It's frosty out. Whew. Never frosty this morning. Frost on my bike. Got condensation on the inside of the tent, which I kind of figured would happen. But, uh, no. So we're just going to try and wake up a little bit. Some move, of us more than others. Yeah, move, move around, warm our feet up, <laughs> and uh, I'm gonna start on some coffee.
Coffee's on the go. Ugh, what a bright morning. And bright pants. <laughs> Old school Ninja Turtles. Warmest I got right now. <laughs> so. Eh, I figure something different. Give somebody a chuckle anyway. So. Anybody who grew up watching, you know, the original Ninja Turtle cartoons. You guys might get a chuckle out of that. But, uh. But yeah. Coffee tastes good. Coffee is extra good this morning. Especially with my titanium cup, I can just warm my hands up. Oh, jeez. Hot. Warm my hands up. No, my, my. Alright. Mine's good. She got a double walled stainless steel cup. It's warming up pretty good, I think. Actually, it is. Not bad for double wall. I should put it on my feet. Yeah. Her feet are still cold. Her foot, I should her, say. So yeah, her foot still cold. So I'm a little lazy this morning. Meh, whatever. We're here to enjoy the outdoors, not get home and or get up and you know get up and go. Get up and pack up, go. Right? So we're here to enjoy the morning. We had a really pretty good evening. Yep, we did. Hot by the fire. So pretty enjoyable evening last night. Yeah, she didn't have to cook supper. <laughs> so but uh no the uh setup we had they said yesterday or sorry yeah yesterday was two seat pads, a filet open sleeping bag, and two wool blankets. I was toasty warm because I slept with my hoodie on. Uh, I had this. I changed my socks last night. Found some found a dry pair. Warmer dry pair. Uh, she changed her socks and. Uh, oh, I put on a warmer pair too. I put on dry socks, dry yeah. pants. She slept with her hoodie on, but not her wool sweater. She used her wool sweater for a pillow, which was fine. She would have been a lot warmer with the wool sweater on. The yeah. only thing that was cold on me was my foot. Other than that, I was actually pretty comfy and warm last night. Yeah. So. For only having a thin hoodie on, I was pretty warm. Yeah. So. Well, let's say we're going to sit here, drink our coffee, and uh, try to wake up a little bit more. And slowly start our pack up, I think. So we got a dog out at home that probably wants to go pee. Now I think we got some company there too, don't we? I think my mom's there. Yeah, her mother's there. Oh, you love my mom. <laughs> her mother decided to show up today with us not being home. The nerve. <laughs> Wait till we get back. Wait till we get back. We'll kick her the hell out. <laughs> At 530. <laughs> so, Alright guys, we're going to sit back, drink our coffee, and wake up.
packed up, ready to go. This is how we had it packed up yesterday when we got here. This backpack was on the front. My other backpack was on the back. And there we go, they were all strapped in and everything. So, uh, overall, we both had a pretty good night. Yep. Uh, I liked the tent. <clears throat> I liked the doors and everything. Uh, when you unzip the doors, it's a great big circle, and then there's a little pouch off to the side. Yes, because there's no uh, um, toggle loops or anything like that. Just blow it up and toss it in a little side pocket, which is pretty cool. Pretty nice idea. Uh, there's a dome stall, as you've seen. Um, I'll be doing a review on that here in the near future. We're going to get the heck out of here because the black flies and everything are all being, starting. being pesterous again. So, all right, guys. So, until the next one. See y'all later. Later.